guys, it's Mary Ellen. So since we're stuck in the house for a while, I thought I would take some time to reorganize my stickers. Now, I'm not gonna show you how I'm organizing them because I don't even really know yet, but what I thought I would do first um, to figure out like what I actually have and how much room I need and all that is to kind of put them into categories. So I'm separating them all out today so that I can figure out how much space I need and what to do because I'm actually out of space in my carts for the stickers. So I've got to figure out another solution. So what I thought I would just do is take you through my whole sticker collection just so you can like get a look and see what I've got. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. And I think I'll count the sticker books with you too, which should be interesting. So without further ado, let us begin. It all started with Planner Basics. This is the first sticker book that I owned from the Happy Planner and it is like really useful if you are a beginner. So keep that in mind. Then I got Planner Basics Mini. This one that does not have a name. That's like basic functional stickers. I don't use this one very much. I don't like it very much because I got a whole bunch of other better ones. Same with this one. This is very old. This is like an old school color story, but it doesn't call itself color story. It does not have a name. So those are like really, really old. Then we have the mom sticker book. The today is the day, which I thought I had two of, but I can't find the other one. Um, it might be in one of these other piles here, but this is one of my favorite original ones because it was very colorful and cute and there was a lot of like these big quotes in it and stuff like that. And then also like these two pages of hearts, which I've used a lot of already and I continue to use these. So there's functional, there's decorative boxes. This is a really cute one. Paper glitter stickers. <laughs> Do you guys have this one? I've used about one, maybe two stickers in this book. It was not a bestseller. Okay, tiny sticker book. I use this every once in a while when I need tiny stickers for manicures, for um, emojis, all that kind of stuff. Sometimes I forget what's in here, but this is really, really useful. Then we have productivity book one and two. I don't know which one came first. I thought I would be productive using these stickers. You can see I have not used many of these stickers. This book is really cute, but I don't use it very often. Okay, so we have fitness. Again, not one that I've used a lot, but I have used it a little bit. Because the reason I haven't used a lot of those books is that I just kept getting more and like more current and better sticker books. So it's like those would fall by the wayside, but I should dig back into these old sticker books. So I have two of these mini choose happy books. And the reason I have two is there are florals in here and there's these big quotes, which I keep forgetting about. Those are really cute. Um, so I have used like a lot of these florals and stuff. So these are really pretty. So I did get two of these books. Next we have essential planning. This is good, like a good everyday book for pretty much anything that you've got going on. There's habit trackers and all sorts of like, there's those holiday stickers and bill pay. It's very functional just for everyday stuff. Then we have Household. This is a newer book. There's washi tape on there. This is a newer sticker book. And in here we have the infamous, where is it? Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Toilet paper stickers. I just used those this week. I wonder why. Um, so lots of little functional icons in this one. This is a newer one that I just got recently, it's Celebrate, and this is all birthday stuff and celebration stuff, so it's nice to have all of that in one book when you need it so you don't have to go searching. Horizontal Layout. Haven't used many of these, but there's some cute stickers in here and there's some florals in here, which I like. I actually have two of these books because I won one from um, 
the plan with me that I went to in New York City a couple weeks ago. So I might be giving that away. I don't know. Or I might need it for those florals. We'll see. Travel sticker book. I use this one quite a bit, as you can see. Um, it's all really good for traveling. Okay, so we have the mini wellness and somewhere here, oh yeah. So I have the wellness and the mini wellness. I have not used a lot of these. A wellness, I guess I did. I have not used a lot of the mini wellness, but it's pretty much the same thing, only in different sizes. Um, the color palette's really cute, but it's a very specific color palette that I don't use very often, but I do like having them. Okay, next we have Happy Girl. I got this book. I don't have any young kids, but I did get this book back when it came out because of these florals, because I think these are really pretty. There were two pages of these, I believe. One I must have used up, but um, they're really, really pretty. So I got the books, this book basically for the florals. There's some other cute stickers in here. Some I wouldn't use though, um, because they're too little kiddish, but there are some cute ones. Then we have brights obviously bright colored stickers i don't use this one too much um i do use there's a lot of these long box stickers in here that i do use so okay so next we have pets which i you guys have seen this right so i did a flip through of that then we have pastel tropics i don't know why i'm flipping through these you probably guys probably have all these sticker books but this is like a cute tropical themed one then we have Life is a Party, which is a newer one that I got when I got Celebrate. I think this is really cute because there's these like um, balloon stickers in here, the letters and the, the words. And then there's also um, a lot of like real photography in these ones, which I think is really cute. Neon Lights. One I haven't used all that much. I did a few spreads when I first got this book. I keep forgetting to return to this book. I'm not a fan of all these rainbows. I don't like these lips. I don't like these ice cream cones. So like, I'm not a huge fan of this book, but there are some really functional stickers in here and some cute ones that I can use. Goals, this is a newer one that I've gotten. They had those cute chevrons in there. And that was the page with, the, there's the couple more with the Chevron stickers. And this is really functional for goal setting and stuff like that. Then we have watercolor goals. Again, goal setting, but like different pretty colors. We have those pretty watercolor splotches, ice creams, all sorts of stuff. Happy Hostess, oh wait, this is, I was supposed to put this on the, in the Happy Planner Girl line. Hold on, that's coming up in a minute. Okay, so we have two of the Squad Goal Girls sticker books. These, when they came out, were super cute. They're still cute. I love these, and I've used these a ton. Um, you can see a lot of the stickers are missing out of these books because I just love them so much. And then we have the Squad Life sticker book. Again, I've used a lot of these. Um, just really cute seasonal books. I don't keep, maybe I should keep these with my seasonal books. I might do that. So I'll put these aside because they are, they are seasonal. So then we have Dream Seeker. This is that book with all of those really pretty feather flower thingies, the really big quotes. We have like copper foiling. Um, really cute, really cute book that I did not think I would like and I didn't buy it for a while and then when I bought it, I was happy that I got it. I should use that again. Then in the same type of theme, we have the Free Spirit books. I don't like these as much as Dream Seeker. Uh, this isn't really my jam. I have done a few spreads with these, but it's not really like my style. This one I like more than this one, I think, because of the colors. It has a lot of pastel colors in there. Okay. Then we have, these were like separate ones that came with other things. So this is the one, the Teresa Collins one that came with the Be Happy box. I've used a ton of these. Really like that color palette. And then this one is the, jo it came with like a Joanne, what did I call it? Joanne accessory pack. 
Um, it had like a bunch of stuff in it that were like not just stickers, but a whole bunch of other stuff. And I think that was last spring that came out maybe, something like that. Or maybe it was even last winter, I don't know. But it had a lot of like really functional um, boxes in here. And I hardly ever reach for this one because I forget that it's there. Okay, I just realized that I forgot there's some older ones over here. Oh, I guess that's like the only older one. So this is watercolor. This is one of the older ones. This might have been the second book that I ever got. So I used a lot of these stickers because I had this one before I even like um, had any other better sticker books. So this one was really cute. Next we have budget. I've hardly used any of these because I'm really bad at budgeting and I haven't done it yet. So that book has gone unused. And this is the new budget, which has also gone unused because I know I said I'd show you guys a budget, like what I do for budgeting and I haven't budgeted yet. So forgive me for that. Okay, next I have two of the journaling sticker books. I've used these so much, like for just a ton of different things. Like I love these ones, they're really functional. You can see a lot of those stickers are missing. A lot of these stickers are going to be missing. I use them a lot for recipe planning spreads. So these are good for like bullet journaling type stuff. Then we have journaling doodles, another one I've used a lot. You can see a lot of these stickers are missing as well. That's really fun. Then for some reason I have two Boss Babe. I think I bought one and then the Happy Planner sent me one, something like that. So I've got two of these and i haven't used too many in here i probably shouldn't have like even i probably should have like given this one away as soon as i got it instead of trying to like keep both and use them both then we have baby girl and no i do not have a baby girl but there were really cute stickers in here you guys like super cute and there were really nice florals in here so they always suck me in with the florals and look how cute these are so I've used these in a couple of spreads these were like they're just so pretty and so yeah I've used some of that and then I have two of the happy illustrations which is one of my favorite sticker books ever um, just like cute I've used this a lot cute like uh, animal stickers and plants and all sorts of things. These little houses, so, so, so cute. Next category is colorful boxes. I have seven of these original colorful boxes book. These are the best ones. They're super functional. I use them all the time. If you watch my videos, you'll know I always pull these out. So I have seven now. It started out with just two, then three, then it just got out of control. But I use these all the time, so I don't feel guilty. And I buy these on Amazon. They're like, I don't know, they're like $12 or something on Amazon, $11, something like that. They're pretty cheap. Okay, so then I have two of this colorful box book. That's the one with these types of boxes. I don't use this as much, but I do use these a lot. Then I have one of these colorful boxes. This is a newer one. And there's like a lot of monthly boxes in here. And we have like the ones that are this shape, which I love. So, and some long box stickers. Then we have colorful shapes. I just got this one recently. And then this is the second colorful boxes book that came out. I only bought one of these because um, I don't use this that much, although looking at it, I, ex I guess I do use it a lot, but I don't like the filled in boxes as much as I like the boxes that are white inside. Okay, next up we have the quote sticker books. So this is the original quote sticker book that they came out with. These aren't that great. Like I don't really like that many of these, so I haven't used a lot here. I guess I did in the beginning. I don't like a lot of the fonts that are in here. They're kind of now old fashioned a little bit, so, and hard to read some of them, so I don't use this that much. Gold Star Quotes I have two of because I use it like crazy, and I still use it a lot. So there's just a ton of fun quotes. They're all different colors, and definitely I picked up two of these books because I definitely was using a lot of them. 
Happy quotes actually could be considered um, seasonal, I think. Well, no, this isn't a seasonal. I'm thinking of another one. Um, so this is just like happy kind of quotes. Like it says, there's clear quotes in here. There's box stickers. This is a really cute book. And then we have sassy plans, which we all know is funny and cute. And I do use this quite often. And then the new one that I just got is LOL quotes. And I just did a flip through of this on my channel and I really like this one too. So I love putting quotes in my planner. So these quote sticker books are like perfect for me. Next we have the rainbow sticker books. So I have two classic size and I have two big size. And these are really, really good for beginners and really good for anyone actually, because they're all separated by color. So you just have to open the sticker book to that color and find the stickers that you need. And I've used these so often and they are really good for rainbow spreads as well. Okay, I have two alphabet sticker books. I have the one that's the original alphabet and then the new fun alphabets that I just got. They are both really, really useful. And then we have some food sticker books. So I have this one like is falling apart. I've used this a ton. Look at all these food stickers I have used in here. I mean, you can't really tell, I guess, but I've used a lot of these. And then this is the second food sticker book that they came out with. I haven't used as many of these, but I did just get it recently. And there's some really cute stickers in here too. Some good long box stickers, some functional ones, meal planning, stuff like that. And then we have the recipe sticker book. All these sticker books are really good for recipe pages. And I do like the color palette in this one. And you have some food type stickers. Some of my favorite stickers in here are... I need to turn the on. Okay, I'm, f I'm filming. Hi. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry. Hold on. Are these ones. Okay, that's my dad. <laughs> Okay, next we have the Wrong Wrong sticker book. So this is the new Going Places one. That's the Travel Wrong Wrong. And these are so cute, you guys. I love this sticker book. And then we have the Wrong Wrong Mini Seasonal, the Wrong Wrong Regular Seasonal, and the Mini Every Day and the Regular Every Day. So if you like Wrong Wrong, check those out. Next up, we have sticker books that I've talked about a lot on my channel because these are really, really useful for beginners and really for anybody who just wants to put a quick spread together without thinking about it too much. And that's the Color Story sticker books. So this was the first one that came out. Um, it's like different themes and, and there's like five or six pages of each theme. So you have like functional stickers, decorative stickers, quotes, everything that like matches for that theme. So all you do is open it to the theme, put the stickers down and you're let you have like a complete spread. So these are really, really useful. So this was the first one that came out. I have that in classic and the same one in big. And then the second color story, I have two of these and I, there's the reason was there was like one theme in here that I loved it's this one and it's hard to see it but look at those like cute florals and then these little girls and stuff but that was a really really cute and then we have color story three which has some really pretty ones as well those those leaves and then there's a travel one there's other ones and color story four there was some palm trees in here some pretty colors here on like these that was that's really pretty i really need to use that one so dream seeker type one and those watercolor thingies color story four these are just all really really pretty and just super easy to throw together a spread and then the big color story which is a new one that i just got i haven't even used any of these yet but i'm excited to dig into it soon maybe next week Okay, I realize I can't flip through these anymore because it's gonna be such a long video as it is. So I'm just gonna show you the rest of them. So I have Teacher's Rule Big. I have two of these. I don't even know how I ended up with two of these. I think Happy Planner must have given me two or I, I, don't, I don't even know. I have Teacher's Rule Classic. I have a Purple Student. 
I had, this was like the first purple student. This was another purple student. And then I have this orange teacher one. There is the teacher seasonal and the student seasonal that I'll show you in a minute with the seasonal sticker books. So next I have the happy planner girl line. So we have happy hostess, daydreamer, healthy hero, Stargazer. I'm just going to pile these up. I have Miss Maker. I have Mini Socialite. These are in no order because I know I have other ones that are like I have the regular Socialite too. Mini Healthy Hero, Mini Super Mom, Homebody, Regular Super Mom, Mini Miss Maker, Regular Socialite, Planner Babe, Glam Girl, and that is it. That's it for the Happy Planner Girl line. I was not able to get Goal Getter, but I did get an accessory book with Goal Getter in it, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Okay, next I have the memory planning books, the memory keeping books. This is, I think, the first one that they made. And then I have the dates and holidays. I have dates and holidays too. And these are all in big, these are all big because the memory planners are big. Um, everyday memories. And then I have two floral memories because like these florals in here are so pretty. And I don't, I'm kind of sick of them now, but I used to use them a lot. And then I have two of these happy memory keeping books, um, a year of memories. This is kind of seasonal. I could probably keep these with the seasonal books actually. Speaking of seasonal books, the original seasonal book. I have happy memory keeping holidays. I have the student seasonal. I have somewhere here the teacher. Oh, here is teacher seasonal. I have Christmas, Christmas joy. I have happy year, the orange seasonal, the red seasonal. And then I have spring, summer, fall, and winter. I use my seasonal books all the time so these i try to keep together so that i can always reach for them and i just found a pile of student and teacher books that i or just student books that i didn't include with the other ones so this is like student colorful boxes we have student icons this is kind of like the tiny book with like all of these little icons all these little like cute little stickers then we have yellow student, blue student, and pink student. One thing I want to mention is even if you're not a student, you can certainly use these books. Even if you're not a teacher, you can use the teacher books, especially the student ones. They're like so versatile and they have all sorts of stuff in there that is not like, you know, pertaining to school. There are a couple pages you're not going to be able to use, but for the most part, like it's pretty like general. Okay, my favorite category, florals. So I have two of the fun floral sticker book. I have two of the flower sticker book. I have the gardening ones. I have one detailed florals. And then I put these in this category because they're kind of flowery. I have the botanicals, simply lovely, farmhouse, I have two of these, and then the new modern farmhouse. So these are really, really, really pretty and my fave. Next, we have some sticker books that are kind of like um, women power, encouraging type books. We have Empowering Women, Encouragement, Radiate Positivity, The Encourager. Oh wait, that's Happy Planner Girl. <gasps> I should have done it with that one. <laughs> and then we have Women Kind. And then, Here's some new ones that kind of didn't fit in any categories and they're brand new. Glitter Paint, Happy Hour, Soft Geode, Wild Styled, and Bookish. Okay, you guys, that is it for the regular Happy Planner sticker books. That's a lot. <laughs> now I have the Mega Sticker Books. So I have the Rainbow Mega Sticker Book, the Brights, pastels, seasonal, and this was the first one that they came out with. Just having these sticker books right here would be enough for me for like the next 10 years, I feel like. 
because there's a lot of stickers in these books, but you know, I have a lot more than that, obviously. Next, I made a book full of um, these packs that fit into um, your Happy Planner. And there's this one, it's just like, I don't even know where this one came from. I think it came from maybe the Joanne Meg accessory pack, I'm not sure. And then I have like a bunch of these ones. So that's like a seasonal one. I have a um, productivity one. This is probably like planner basics and this is like a teacher one. So these are the ones that, I forget what they call them, but they fit right into your planner. But I didn't wanna do that because obviously I just have a lot of stickers that I use from the sticker books and everything. So I didn't really want the stickers in my planner. Plus it takes up much, like a lot of room. So I created just a little book of these. Next up, accessory packs. We have Trendsetter, not accessory pack, accessory book, excuse me. So the accessory books have like a, a, um, a, like a note paper section, they have sticky notes, and then they have stickers on this side, okay? So the Happy Planner Girl line um, came, like they came out with the Happy Planner Girl accessory books along with like the regular sticker books. So I have Trendsetter, Supermom, Daydreamer, Goal Getter, and like I said, I was happy to get this one because I couldn't get the other sticker book. By the time I was planning, it was too late. Glam Girl. Okay, those are the girl ones I have. Then I have the Be Happy Box, Your Year to Shine. If you remember this one, I did not get this new sticker book they just came out with because I still have stickers from this Be Happy Box book, so I feel like I didn't need them. Um, even though there's more, so I don't know if I'll end up getting it or not, but, um, then we have this wrong, wrong accessory book. And then I have another wrong, wrong one. That's the seasonal one. I have a budget accessory book, the recipe accessory book and the LOL quotes accessory book. I don't know if that's what it's called. They call it LOL quotes. They just call it quotes, but yeah, that came like, that's kind of like along with the LOL quotes book. I don't reach for these as often as I reach for the regular sticker books, but I do use them. All right, next up we have accessory packs. So these are packs that have stickers, sticky notes, and cardstock in them. I have a wrong, wrong one. Here's a habit tracking. This one is a student. Here's another student, planner girl, socialite, baby girl, super fun, brights, household, miss maker, and meal planning. I have not used a lot of these because to be honest, I forget to reach for them. And there's probably some really cute stickers in here that I am missing. I actually bought like some of these I got from the Happy Planner, but a lot of these I bought myself and haven't even touched them. What is wrong with me? And why am I hoarding all these stickers? <laughs> like, honestly, the more I show you, the more I'm just like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> I have a lot, it's bad. It's a problem. Next up, we have the tiny sticker pads. And I always forget to use these, so I did make a video where I put these into a book. Um, so they look like this. They come like this. Obviously, I haven't put these in this book yet. So I have two wrong, wrong ones, a productivity one. So this is what they look like. They just have like little, it's just like a tiny sticker bat pad full of like either one or two stickers on each page. Um, I have squad goals. I forgot I had this. I forgot about this. I have never used a sticker from this. Look how pretty that one is. Oh my goodness. And then I just bought the new Modern Farmhouse one. And then here's the book that I made and there is a video on it. So if you search on YouTube, Planning with Bumble Tiny Sticker Pad or something like that, just search Planning with Bumble Tiny Sticker and you'll come up with this video and it'll show you how I made this book. But so what I did was put each, so took sticker pads and I cut out the front and put it there. 
So I remembered which one it was from. And then here's like all of these from that one, you know what I mean? And then here's another one, all of these from that one. So I don't use these that much because like I said, I forget about them. Anyway, I got a bunch in there. I'm not gonna bore you. You can watch that video to see which ones are in here. Okay, so now I have these journaling stickers. Those are the ones that open up. So I have quotes and then I have black and white. I have notes, free spirit, productivity, adulting, healthy hero, it looks like. And I don't know what that one is, but I um, still have not figured out a way to store these. I don't use these hardly ever. And I, because again, I just forget to use them. I always reach for my regular sticker books. Maybe when I come up with a better way to store these, I'll, I'll find that I'm using other ones more because I'll see them more often. Okay. I'm getting close to the end of the Happy Planner stuff at least. So I have these two little... Mambi, oh, three, sorry, these three little Mambi sticker books, Love Yo Selfie, Go Your Own Way, and Hello Friend, this one's Travel, yeah, and again, forget to use these, but they have a lot of, like, little ones that are, like, icons and stuff, and little quotes, so I think these are useful, and then I have the washi tape books, so I have four of these and I used to use these all the time and then I kind of forgot about them, but I really like these because the it's like really opaque when you put it on the page, so it's very bright. Um, so yeah, I have, I don't even know what these are called, but I have these four, which I should start using again because I love washi strip stickers and these are perfect. Okay, then I have four of these boxes of rolls that honestly I never use. You can see this one is dusty um, because it's like I forget about it and there's just, I mean, they're really useful, but they're not like the best as far as like how to, like storing them is difficult and also like you don't know what's on them. So you have to like unroll them to see. So I don't love these, but they're there if I need like really productivity type stickers. Um, I did just find this one. This um, a viewer had sent this to me. It was so nice. She sent me a pack of stuff for um, Wallace and Almond and Bumble. And then she included some stuff for me, including some animal stickers. I thought that was so sweet. So I forgot that, like, I knew I had this, but I forgot to put it in here. So I'm just going to do that now. This one's really cute because it has, like, that leopard print on the on the side so really really nice of her to send me that okay so the next stuff is more well wait I do have more happy planner I have these that I just bought that I showed in one of my videos it's like the Mambi sticks they're really big and you can put them on other things besides just in your planner then some other sticker books I have are the wrong wrong sticker book that she sent to me I have these three books I got from um, Tuesday morning. I think I got these from Tuesday morning. These are really, really cute. This one's Amy Tangerine, yeah. And like, just for something different other than Happy Planner once in a while, I do like to use these sometimes. And then, um, let's see. So the rest is like little packs of stickers and then just sheets, so. I'm going to show you some that are unopened. I just bought this one. This is Park Lane. And I just thought these were so cute. And I could do like a coffee spread with these. And they're big. So it's good for my big planner. I'm going to be using those coming up soon. Plus I love the colors there. I have... Let's see. The stickers are falling all over. Okay, that's a happy planner one. That's like little icons. Where did that go? Okay, then I have, I have that with the months. I thought that was cute. I have no idea where I got it. Here's a happy planner, like a Mambi sticks thing that I haven't really used that I thought was cute. 
Um, what else? What else is here? Oh, look at these. I have these cute little glasses. And then I just have random sticker sheets that I'll show you. Just like random stuff. So I have a bunch of Coco Daisy stickers that they sent me. These were from a friend. I have um, some paper glitter stickers. I don't know why I have those. Some numbers. These are like from probably Happy Planner accessory packs and stuff. I bought these off Etsy when I started planning. These were from a Be Happy box. This was from a Be Happy box. Then there's just random sticker sheets that must have fallen <laughs> out of my my books. Oh, that's pretty. Um, so yeah, just random Happy Planner stickers. This someone sent me, I think these were from Etsy. I'm not sure, but somebody sent these to me for free. I don't know if I want to give away or something way back when I started planning. That's like a Heidi Swap one or something. I had these. I have some leaves. Some of these origami animals, these little plants, terrariums, feathers, more random happy planner sheets some owls. This one should go in my little book. I'm going to put that in there. More random happy planner sheets. <laughs> Another one for my book. And more of those, more of those. More, more. This is from the um, Teresa Collins when I went to go wild. I think we got those. So, I believe that's it. I'll probably find more after I shut this video off, but you get the gist. So that is my collection. <sighs> the more I look at everything, the more I realize like it's too much. It's obviously too much. And a lot of it I got for free, but most of it I did not. So it's a lot of money spent. Um, but as planners, I think most of us have this problem of buying a lot or wanting a lot of stickers. It's just what we do. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's what you should do, but that seems to be the norm. I know I have a lot more than the norm, but um, most of us, I think, tend to collect a lot of stickers. So in case you're wondering, I just counted um, I have 157 of these regular Happy Planner sticker books. That's not including the mega packs. That's not including the accessory books or the accessory packs. I have 157 Happy Planner sticker books. Whoa. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below how many sticker books you have. Maybe I'm not the only one. Maybe you have close to what I have. Or maybe not. I'd like to know what you have. Anyway, I hope this video was at least a little bit entertaining. And if you made it through to the end, congratulations. Thanks for watching all the way through. Stay tuned for Doodle of the Day. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.